Hi guys and uh, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at this PDB. It's from Maytech. It's called the Hub OSD 8-SE PDB. Now this is actually a pretty interesting board and um, I don't know if you've noticed my tweezers here. They have protection now because a lot of people are complaining that I keep hitting the board too much. So maybe it'll be this will be a little bit better for you guys. So um, yeah. <laughs> um, I hope you like this way better I guess. So anyways let's start. So this is actually, I've just been reading the specification. It's actually pretty awesome. I've had it in the house for a while now. I've been trying to get time to actually review it. And I just thought this would be actually the perfect time because if this is as what they're saying, and I'll tell you what they're saying right now, if it's as good as what they're saying, um, this can actually, if you have a DYS F4 and it's just killing you, this will actually just, uh, you just put this with that and it should clear everything up. However, it just ruins the whole DYS F4 all in one. Um, theme going on but i mean it'll it'll become flyable again so you don't have to rely on its osd and all that kind of stuff and you can rely on this one all right so let's get started now let's go over the specifications first and the paths and then we'll jump into the testing so it takes a three to a six s lipo so that's awesome uh, it has input TVS protection. So what is TVS protection? It's a built-in transient voltage suppressor, which means it has basically a high voltage suppression. So if it, de if it detects a high voltage spike, it'll actually do, it'll suppress it. That, that's, that's, what it's, that's what TVS stands for. So it'll, it'll suppress the high voltage. So I'm very curious to see that. I haven't seen anyone mention of something of this nature. So this is actually pretty exciting. I'm actually very excited to be honest to actually test this guy. However, you know, the only downside so far I see from this, it is, it's not a Betaflight OSD. This is like just a normal OSD. And then if you could, you could also program and update firmware on this PDB. That's pretty cool. But I mean, th that's fine also. So this is not a beta flight OSD, it's a regular OSD, but if it does the job, who cares, you know? Um, I know I don't care if I'm having problems and this is gonna save my butt and give me OSD, that's it, I, give me this guy. Um, if you have bad ESCs and you can't replace your ESCs, cause this guy's like $12. So this is uh, <laughs> it's very good. Um, after we test it, if, it's, if it comes out, the re if the results are good, then this is absolutely phenomenal. All right, so um, yeah. Let's talk about specifications. Uh, the the PDB is rated for um, each ESC pad is rated for 30 amps, and the max burst is uh, 46 amps. And we have a 5 volt regulator and we have a 10 volt regulator. Um, 10 volt is very good. It's kind of the same concept as a 9 volt on the eight, all in one flight controller. In case of very low voltage drops, uh, you won't get any blackouts because you'll be safe there. So. Um, you know, some ESCs drop down to 12 volts, and if this is 10 volts, that's perfect. You're not going to have a blackout. So this will help you in that perspective, which is, it's a very good trend, and it's very good that they're doing stuff like this now. Um, it does have a current sensor. The current sensor is uh, rated for 184 amps, which is more than enough, which is perfect, really. And the OSD does have auto detect, so it detects if your camera is PAL or NTSC, and it has an automatic flight timer, an automatic battery cell detection, which is, you know, it's expected nowadays, low battery alarm, and exceeding, you know, you, you could set stuff for you exceeding your milliamps and everything. So that, that's very good there. So let's take a look at the pads now. And then after the pads, we'll jump straight into the testing and seeing how see how it really does. Um, However, another awesome thing with this guy is they actually do provide you with a low ESR capacitor. A Rubicon 35 volt, 30, 470 microfarad low ESR capacitor. So that is awesome. That is just absolutely amazing. Um, it does have that TVS protection, which is, which is protection against high voltage spikes. And they also give you this guy. So I don't know if we're going to actually test with this guy, but we will see. If, if the tests are very good, then I don't think we're going to need to test with this guy. If they're okay, we'll put this guy and see how good it makes it. So I don't know yet. We're going to get started in a little bit. So let's just go over the quickly over the pads and see what we have here. All right. So here we have our battery terminals, positive and negative, clearly labeled. That's very good. The color of the board and the board just looks and feels nice. You know, um, it just screams quality. And lately, Maytech have not been disappointing at all at all i'm very impressed and if they keep doing this and they keep doing everything right the same way they're doing um that's it you know i'm gonna start you know my go-to components will probably end up being Maytech from now on all right so we do have our battery terminals here which is awesome and we do have our esc pads that's very good um the pads are very large so that's very good for soldering so when you're gonna solder you're not gonna have a lot of problems and you're gonna have some very good contact here assuming that you're soldering pretty good here we have ground, 
current. So this would be your current sensor. Um, I don't know what this is going to be going for. Maybe it's going to be going to your flight controller. I haven't really checked it. You have an RSSI, so that's pretty darn awesome. And we have the TX and RX, so that's good here. And let's take a look here. Camera and ground, and then VTX and ground. So this is the yellow line for your camera, and you can ground your camera here. This is the yellow line to your VTX, and this is the ground. Here's 5 volt for your camera, and here's 10 volt for your VTX. So that's awesome. And here we have more pads for your ESC, ground, 10 volt ground, VCC. VCC is the direct input from your battery. So this is not going through anything. It's just direct. So you got your positive right down VCC and ground right there. So if you want to do something, maybe add the capacitor or, or just anything, whatever you want, you know, or even put a VTX there if that's how you like it. So you can do that there also. And another 5 volt and ground. So we get two 5 volts and we get two 10 volts and we get one VCC. Uh, that's very good here. And that's really it. I mean, it's just that simple. It's very nice. Um, I really do have high hopes for this, but I'm afraid to say this right now. But I, I, I think this one's going to be very nice. I don't know, just for some reason. It just looks quality. And the components and the specifications that they're writing um, just says that it's going to be a good one. So, yeah. So let's put it on the bench and let's get started, guys. All right, guys, so how did this board do? This board did amazing. Uh, I did very good. It did very, very good, actually. And it was, to be honest, I was, I was expecting it to be good. However, I was a bit afraid because of the, the OSD on the board, but uh, Mantex holding it down very well. So this is actually a very good, clean board, and um, the features are all there. So from the testing, the testing results was just absolutely amazing. And don't forget this even came with a low ESR capacitor and I didn't even use it. So if I used it, it would have just been an absolute perfect result really. So uh, I don't know what more you could ask for. I really can't say much other than this one is actually very good. Um, and the OSD, as you saw, no flicker, no nothing. Uh, there was a little tiny bit of noise, but that usually in flight, when I see something like this, I never see it. So that little tiny bit could have just been me just pushing it too much. And at the same time, if I added the low ESR capacitor, we wouldn't see anything at all. So um, this board is good. I like it. Uh, so if you're not into all-in-one flight controllers, uh, I do recommend this board. It's a very good PDB. So and it has the OSD for you. So if you really wanted an OSD in your in your quad, and um, this seems like a, one of the most reliable separate OSDs you could actually purchase i mean the other day someone told me or sent me a link i forgot the guy's name i'm so sorry um about an osd that's costing like 80 dollars 80 dollars for an osd that's just ridiculous that's just too much you know and it's and it's huge too i don't i don't i don't if i remember correctly it was big too it was probably bigger than this board so yeah fifteen dollars you get a nice pdb you get a low esr capacitor you get current sensing you get an osd and what more do you want really so this is a very good board um uh, this is my go-to pdb if i ever had to go to a pdb uh this is a very good one and i do recommend it and they they have thought this well and they've designed this very well um and that's all i could really say right now so if anyone's used it please let me know um i still have not tested it in a flight or anything i've just tested it here i've had it laying down and i've been really 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 curious to get this tested and um finally did and they did not disappoint and i'm very happy that um it didn't disappoint because it's pretty expensive 15 dollars for a pdb so i mean i better get something that that's the way i see it so 15 dollars does get you something and possibly gives you a beautiful flight time and beautiful video so that's awesome and that's it guys so if you guys have any questions or any suggestions just feel free to let me know and I will see you next time. See you guys. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. See ya. Take care.